Okay, John, I'm going to pull you back on the bus, okay? We're going to Magnolia. Going for a ride. Such beautiful weather. There's the lady with the hat. Love that hat. These residents of the Good Samaritan Society Mary Jane Brown in Laverne, Minnesota might be retired, but like millions every day, they're boarding a bus this morning to go to work. All right, we're off. Their job? To mentor a group of boys that come from upbringings most of us can't imagine. I always say when you get them together, it's like magic. It just, it just happens. We don't have to do a lot of work. <laughs> These residents are on their way to Magnolia, Minnesota, where the old high school has been converted into Southwest Youth Services. And the kids are here for various reasons. They're all court ordered. They're here for drugs, alcohol, truancy, sex offenders, car theft, burglary, robbery, you know, you name it. And when they arrive, these visitors from another time and place are greeted by young faces that come to the school from tough backgrounds and broken homes. As young and old come together and move inside, I like your shoes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it doesn't take long to see the two generations have a lot in common. What we found over time, we found a lot of things like they have more things in common than we realized, and they talk about that often when they come for the first time. Um, you know, that people can't come and go here or at Magnolia. These meetings started 10 years ago when the Good Samaritan Society, Mary Jane Brown's Martha Fick, received a grant and the center started looking for ways to bring old and young together in a way that would benefit both. Some boys who don't have much history in faith, they still really buy into it and, and love the conversations because they can see that um, there's something about our residents that is so like the Bible says, you know, having a childlike faith. It's not unusual for a, a little old lady to grab somebody's hand and say, do you know Jesus? They really make our kids feel wanted, you know, feel loved. So they love to go there because they get this, that builds their self-esteem. This is a way to give them that chance for leadership again. We really have seen some of our men blossom because they get to be leaders again and they get to mentor these guys and it means a lot to them. They really put the hands and feet to our activities to make them happen and it's quite a blessing for us. When it's time to go, there are plenty of signs that both sides get something from these meetings. On most days that would be the end, but as morning turns to afternoon, the two groups have gathered back in Laverne for a second time on this day to celebrate 10 years together. You have students who will come in and say, well, you know, I don't do old people. I don't, I don't do old people. Uh -uh. But then when the other kids would come back, they'd talk about, oh, we did this and we did that and we talked about this and we made this and we ate cookies and we, you know, and pretty soon they're going over there and they're opening up and accepting new things. Two generations come together again to make some noise and celebrate their gifts to each other. The boys have so much energy. They give us strength and, um, and we give them social skills, we give them manners, we give them, this is the only place in town that, that could invite a bunch of guys who've been in trouble to a tea party and they'd be glad to come. There's just something, something chemistry that when they get together, God just pours out his spirit on, on them and, and they just love each other. Yeah.